Well, the first drum I got, I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say that it was actually an instrument. It was pretty beat up. I was about six years old, so that would have made it 1957, but I actually didn't get a drum set until um, 1963. My education to play drums was being inspired by other people doing it. I, I think that's the most important part, is to watch people who have dedicated their, their time and energy to, uh, to their craft, watch them execute it live, and that was the most important thing for me. I don't know if I've ever experienced a sweeter feeling than the feeling I had when I got that first set of drums. You know, when you're on the road, you get paid for the 23 hours of traveling and you do the hour of playing for free. And at the age of 61, I can say that's exactly right. And I'm still looking forward to going back on the road just to play that hour. Playing the Drum Off show in 2010 was a lot of fun and developing a routine on Sing 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 where I played the swing part of it and he played the cut time sort of metal part and it went together like a hand in glove. You know, I remember while we were doing it, the side of the stage was just, every, every drummer that I grew up listening to was there. That was a wonderful night. I think the people in the audience appreciated the hard work that went into it uh, from all the drummers and all the musicians they played with. It's cheesy to say, but every day that I get to do something new and, and you know, find something new that I can do on the drums or with my band or, or with anything like that, that's the pinnacle because that's the next step. You know, once you learn how to play something and it's something you uniquely do and you get as much as you give. So it's a very worthwhile endeavor to become involved and more importantly to stay involved in music.